not ashamed to say I hope it always will stay this way My hat is off, won't you stand up and take a bow Among the conflicts, I think the two most pressing in Sub-Saharan Africa at present are in Nigeria and in Ethiopia, in part because of the outsized importance these two countries play in the continent. This is not to minimize other areas of conflict. These two countries nonetheless stand out and their potential disintegration could have an outsized impact on the entire region. Regarding Ethiopia, I think there has been a failure by the State Department uh, to call out the atrocities, regardless of who commits them. Like Nigeria, Ethiopia is a multi-ethnic and religiously diverse nation. Each major group, sadly, both victims and victimizers. Uh, the State Department, however, has for the most part called out the atrocities by the Ethiopian government and Amhara regional forces, while neglecting equally reprehensible atrocities committed by the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front which precipitated the immediate conflict last November. By doing so, by painting the Amhara solely as the victimizers, while neglecting to mention atrocities committed in Tigray against ethnic Amhara, such as happened in the Mai Khadra last November, the question arises, has the State Department, perhaps unwittingly, abetted a scapegoating narrative, which singles out one ethnic group as perpetrators of violence and implicitly absolves other ethnic groups of the same atrocities, thereby fueling additional tension and conflict. What state should do is recognize who is committing the atrocities, who is the victim, regardless of who that implicates. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Zur Regierungspressekonferenz am Montag. Und dazu begrüße ich ganz herzlich Regierungssprecher Schön. Die Fernseher wollte ich nur vorwegschicken, dass die Bundespressekonferenz. Die Lage in Äthiopien gibt uns großen Anlass zur Sorge, insbesondere die Versuche der Tigray People's Liberation Front, der TPLF, den Konflikt auszuweiten und Nachbarstaaten hineinzuziehen. Die Angriffe auf Flughäfen in der äthiopischen Region Amhara sowie in Eritrea, zu denen sich die TPLF bekannt hat, die verurteilen wir auf das Schärfste. Jetzt ist ein politischer Prozess nötig, um die Lage zu beruhigen und Raum für Lösungen zu schaffen.